So for Team GMA, please unmute and also turn on your video. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, we need uh, videos on. We have to be able to see uh, your hands and your face. Um, I think the, uh, the host, please enable uh, people to turn on their videos if it's not enabled. Um, hi, Dan. They have the access to uh, unmute and turn their cameras on. Okay, excellent. Team uh, GMA, please uh, turn on your videos. We have to be able to see uh, faces and hands while we are asking you the questions. The video feature has been disabled for me. Okay, uh, Juanita, please uh, check on uh, that they don't seem to be able to turn on the videos. Um, we can't turn our videos on. Uh, please allow us a minute. We are just checking. Okay, sorry for the uh, bit of technical complication here. We'll get this worked out in just a moment. Please test now. Okay, uh, Team GMA, are you now able to unmute and to uh, turn on your video? Um, excuse me, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Uh, one of our team members having a slight uh, technical issue. Can we uh, go after the next team, please? Okay, that's fine then. Uh, can we have uh, Team GMA moved out of the panelist and uh, uh, Team Minimal Effort uh, moved in? Okay. So everyone who is uh, currently not uh, promoted to panelist uh, will not be able to uh, mute or unmute. Uh, when you get promoted to pa uh, panelist for your round, then you'll be able to. So if we could uh, have everyone from uh, Jim's WSO, Team Minimal Effort, uh, please uh, turn your videos on and unmute so we can start with your questions. The minimal effort. You're promoted. Please turn your cameras on. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
So we still have uh, still have one student for minimal effort that needs to turn on the camera. Okay, uh, Jericho, uh, I think we need to get your camera on now. Perfect. And if, great. And if everybody can uh, just put your hands so that we can see that you're not using the keyboard. Okay, uh, Nicholas. Okay, everybody hand, and Jericho, both hands up so we can see. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Got to keep both hands where we can see them. Perfect. Okay, so uh, if we could have the timer ready, and we will be starting now. So, first question: Can you smell this waxy menthol with a sharp smell? It is enough to use as a counter irritant, and it's used for sore throat infections. What is this menthol? Uh, and guys, you need to unmute. <laughs> uh, Jim's WSO minimal effort. We need you to unmute so we can hear your answers. Okay. Uh, can we skip uh, this one? Can we skip this one? Yep, okay. Um, if a ray of light is traveling through a dense core, comes to a boundary with a less dense cladding, and the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, what will occur? And uh, Nicholas, got to keep your hands up. Thank you. Okay. Any. And again, you, you're all on mute. Please uh, stay unmuted so I can hear your answers. Final answer, it refracts. Okay, excellent, correct answer. Um, the process of converting a DNA sequence to an mRNA message is called transcription. What is the process of converting an mRNA molecule to a protein through the mediation of tRNA? You guys can talk to each other. Final answer, skip. Okay. Um, okay, uh, this one you are permitted to use a calculator if you need to. An amount is lent out at simple interest. Um, an amount lent out at simple interest amounts to $890 in three years and $950 in five years. Find the sum that was lent out. So the interest, 890 in three years and 950 in five years. Uh, final answer, 800. Okay, that would be incorrect. Um, a device which converts alternating current into direct current is called what? Uh, sir, can you repeat the question? A device which converts alternating current into direct current is called what? A transformer. Final answer, transformer. Okay, that is incorrect. Uh, the only major organ in the thorax, apart from the heart and lungs, is the thymus. 
which system does the thymus play a major role in? And again, we need to keep your hands where we can see them. Thank you. Final answer, the endocrine system. Okay, that would be incorrect. Uh, what is another term for looping in programming? Final answer, iterations. That was correct. What is a bright region in the sun called? And again, hands up, please. Thanks. Final answer, sunspot. OK, we'll accept that. Uh, the process of exposing previously buried rock at the Earth's surface by removal or erosion of the matter on top of it is called what? Time's up. Okay, uh, we'll give them just a, a, a second more time because uh, we did have some technical difficulty at the start. Sure. Any answer to that question? Uh, final answer, erosion. Okay, that would be incorrect. Um, which mineral is used by plants to make proteins, which will then be used to make new cells? Final answer, glucose. Okay, that would be incorrect. Thank you so much. Uh, so we will now uh, move on to Team GMA. Okay, so if uh, Team GMA can be promoted to panelists. Being promoted. Uh, I can't start my video. Okay, so it looks like we've got uh, two members of Team GMA together and then uh, the other two separately, yes? Okay, that's great. If I could get uh, uh, five minutes on the clock, please. Perfect. Uh, Team GMA, are you ready? Okay, uh, so we had a little bit of uh, difficulty uh, the last time. Uh, Team GMA, please keep your mics unmuted the entire five minutes. Uh, if you want to have discussion, please have discussion right here on uh, the Zoom, not, uh, not through a side channel. And again, please keep your hands up where we can see them, okay? So if I could get Team GMA to unmute, Um, we actually have like, so even I'm present in the same room as the other two members. So I think if I leave my mic unmuted, it's going to be an overlap. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were all in the same room. Uh, that's fine then. If you can leave one mic unmuted just so we can hear the background conversation and then whoever is going to say final answer, you know, just says that. Okay. So is everyone ready? Okay. Uh, hands where we can see them and we will get started. So first question is, can you smell furanol? It's used in perfumery. It's enough in dilute solution to give the smell of what fruit? So what does furanol smell like? Um, skin. skin. Okay. An electron volt is a unit of what? Uh, electricity. Um, to clarify, has a, a more broad category than electricity. Voltage. Okay. We'll mark that one um, what 
human organ stores concentrated bile, which is need to digest lipids. The gallbladder. Uh, that is correct. Okay. Person A borrows 2,500 durhams for five years at a rate of 4% simple interest per annum from person B. How much interest will person B earn at the end of the period? Four? Yeah, 4%. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Five years. You may use your calculator to listen. Uh, 500. Uh, that is correct. Okay, and again, if we can keep everybody's hands up so we can see them. Um, a device which converts direct current into alternating current is called what? Again, hands up, please. Just so we know you're not using computers to look things up. <laughs> Just sit like this. Okay. Yeah. Is this fine? As uh, what? Oh, no, no. Uh, John's formal. Okay. Uh, that one's incorrect. Possibly the most important thoracic muscle is the diaphragm, the main contributing muscle in the process of respiration. It anatomically separates the thorax from another area of the body. What is that area? The abdomen. Yeah. It separates the thorax from the abdomen. Correct. What method is widely used on websites to distinguish between human and non-human visitors? Capture. Capture. Yeah, it's capture. That is correct. The uppermost region of the sun is called what? Or the outermost region of the sun is called what? Often. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Yes, the outermost region of the sun is called what? Of the what? I can't hear the last word. The outermost region of the sun is called what? Uh, the photosphere. Okay, that would be incorrect. Okay, um, conversion of newly deposited sediment into a solid rock is called what? Sedimentation. That would be incorrect. Uh, what is a plant called that sheds its leaves before winter or during dry spells? What do we call that category of plant? Uh, skip question. Okay. Um, so the uh, going back to the first question then, what does what fruit does furanol smell like? Furanol smell. Uh, skip question. Let's go to the next one. Okay, and then the, the last question again. What do we call the category of plants that shed their leaves before winter or during a dry spell? Is it like winter plants? Or? I, I'm trying to remember what's I think I know. We have 17 seconds. Um, the category of plants that shed their leaves. Mm. You want to go for the phone all along? Okay, that's our time. Final answer. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So, for the deciduous response, is it deciduous response? What for the, for the last question? The, is, it is it deciduous, deciduous response? I'm sorry, what are you saying? Deciduous what? response. Deciduous. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so for the uh, first round between Team GMA and Team Leopard, the score is five points for Team GMA and three points for Team Leopard. GMA moves forward. That's cool.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So if we could get uh, Team Titans uh, brought into the panel. Okay, uh, do we have all members of Team Titans? Great. Uh, so Team Titans, if I can get you to turn on your uh, video and unmute, unless you're all sitting in the same place. Okay, uh, Team Titans, you're all in the same place? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, that'll work fine. So, uh, and I don't see any devices in front of you, so I'm not so worried about your hands because <laughs> you have no, co uh, no computers to use. Okay, great. So, uh, Team Titans, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if I could get five minutes on the clock, please. Okay, and first question. Which white compound is used as a food seasoning and preservative and can be mined from water? Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Uh, correct. What is the maximum number of solar eclipses that can be seen from Earth in one year? I'm sorry? Let's skip this question. Skip, okay. In a nerve cell, what is the difference between the charge inside the cell and the charge outside the cell at its resting state? I'm sorry? Skip, skip. okay. Uh, you will. Uh, you can use your paper and pencils for this. You need to find the next number in the sequence. The sequence is 12, 27, 51, 105, and 207. What is the next number in that sequence? Like to skip. 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 Okay. What is the voltage measured across a series short? Can we repeat the question? What is the voltage measured across a series short? Yeah. I'm sorry? Skip. Skip, okay. In what organ system would one find all three of the following items? The sacrum, the manubrium, and the talus? Hmm? Can you repeat the question? Yes, in what organ system would one find all three of the following items, the sacrum, the manubrium, and the talus. Muscular system. I'm sorry, did you say muscular? Yes. Okay, that would be incorrect. Okay, what is the HTTP status code? that indicates that a requested web resource could not be found? Uh, 404. That is correct. What are huge clouds of helium and hydrogen that serve as the birthplace of stars called? Can you repeat the question? 
what are the huge clouds of helium and hydrogen that serve as the birthplace of stars called? Skip, okay. Solid fragmented material transported and deposited that forms in layers of loose unconsolidated material is called what? Okay, what is the process by which the microspores of a seed plant are transferred to another compatible plant of the same type? Fertilization. I'm sorry? Fertilization. Okay, uh, pollination, but we'll give you uh, that one. Okay, going back to the first question then. <laughs> Uh, what is the maximum number of solar eclipses that can be seen from Earth in one year? Sorry to interrupt, but time's up. Oh, okay, sorry, that's uh, our time. Uh, so uh, for your team, we have uh, three points. Very good. Okay, so if we can have uh, team, the Steminist, uh, ready to go. Sorry to interrupt. We have a technical issue, so give us two minutes. Okay. Okay, and uh, while that issue is being resolved, if we can make sure that uh, uh, Team Steminist is the only team that's uh, promoted to being the panelist. Looks you may try to uh, turn your camera on now, please. Um, Ms. Lanita, uh, the team Steminist isn't available. The team which we have uh, moved to panelists is Steminamia. They are from uh, Victorian, uh, Victoria International School. So it's a different team. Okay. Uh, we'll have to move to the next team, Techno uh, Kids. It looks like uh, Shreya K is saying that uh, Steminist is here. I just don't think they've got their uh, team name set up correctly in the uh, names. 
Okay, we'll just sort that out. Just a moment, thank you. Okay. Sorry about the pause, everyone. We'll get this straightened out very quickly. And uh, the next team after Team Steminist would be um, Team Techno Kids. So Team Techno Kids, if you can get uh, uh, ready. Okay, uh, so we're going to uh, skip, we'll skip over to Techno Kids while we're working things out with Team Steminist. So uh, if I can have Team Techno Kids. Okay, uh, do we have all of Team Techno Kids promoted? Yes, we're good to go for Techno Kids. Okay, uh, Team Techno Kids, if you can please, uh, yeah, turn on your videos, that's great. Um, if uh, you could keep your um, mute, uh, turned off so we can hear you and uh, also make sure that we can see uh, your hands. Okay, so just uh, kind of like that. Okay, are we good? Uh, I need to be able to see your hands the whole way through though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. First question. There is a precious mineraloid commonly mined in Australia, which is hydrated, hydrated amorphous form of silica. What is the common name for the lighter colored version of these gems? You know, the which. Uh, yeah, we're discussing. Do you want to skip? I'd like to skip it, yeah. Okay. Which of the four fundamental forces bind quarks together to form atomic nuclei. Uh, so could you Can repeat you it, question? please? Which of the four fundamental forces bind quarks together to form atomic nuclei? Neutrons. <laughs> Protons, neutrons. Uh... No, I think we're talking about forces, Devich, not those are the components. Um, okay, we'll, we'll we'll skip. Skip. Yeah, we'll skip this. Did you say skip? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, skip. In almost every species of mammals, the female is only receptive to mating during a certain time of the year. What is this period of time called? Jai, do you know? Okay. Oh, could we go with menstrual cycle? I'm sorry? Menstrual cycle? Uh, that is incorrect. Okay. Okay. The ratio of the ages of a father and his daughter is three to two. After 10 years, their total age will be 70. What is the current age of the father? And you may use calculators on this. Okay. Oh, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. The ratio of the ages of a father and his daughter is three is to two. After 10 years, their total age will be 70. What is the current age of the father? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 30. What do you guys get? 30. That is correct. Okay. Okay. 
the permanent mode of deformation of a material is known as what? Can you repeat, please? Yeah. Permanent mode of deformation of a material is known as what? Permanent you want to skip? Skip. Okay. What are the Plasticity. I'm sorry? Is plasticity the answer for the previous question? That is question? correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, what, is, what are the sections of the human lungs called? Sections of the human? No. No, no, what was the question? Sections of the human. Section, alveoli. Sections of the human? Or lungs, alveoli. Isn't it lobes, the which? That is correct. Okay. Yes. Lobes. Definitely. In computing, a nibble is how many bits? Uh, could you repeat that, please? In computing, a nibble is how many bits? Eight. Nibble would be a byte is eight bits, so nibble is smaller than eight bits. So... The which? Yeah, four. Let's go to the next question. Uh, I'm sorry? Is it four? That is correct. That's correct. Okay. What constant is closely associated with perfection and shows up in the architecture of the Pantheon, in art, and in nature, as well as showing up in the Fibonacci series. Isn't, is it the golden ratio, guys? That is what correct. Is the golden ratio. When identifying victims of disasters, such as plane and train crashes, approximately 93% of identifications are based on what characteristic? Uh, carbon, carbon dating? Yeah. I think it's carbon. Carbon. Carbon? No, carbon. That, that is not correct. Okay. okay, if we are in the area of Victoria, Australia, and we stop and take a look at the uh, feature called the 12 apostles, what type of rocks make up those famous stacks? Time's up. Uh, Sediment. Okay. Yeah. okay. That would Sedimentary. be incorrect. Uh, no, that would be incorrect. Thank you. So okay. uh, you scored one, two, three, four, five, five correct answers. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do we have the uh, stimulus uh, ready? Okay. Uh, if you're in the same room, please make sure you only have. I, sorry, can you please the also microphone. promote the user uh, DI Stamina's Petiti? Because we're four people and we can't fit all of us into the same frame. Okay. Uh, can we get that done? Could you repeat the name again, please? Yeah, DI Stamina's Petiti. You've already been promoted here. Uh, it doesn't Don't show that on our screen. Oh, oh okay. it's, it's the user that's like raised her hand. So, cause we, we can't see the, uh, that it's promoted on our screen. And uh, Steminist, if you could go ahead and turn on your uh, cameras, please. Okay, I see three of you there, and there's one more. Uh, yeah, there's there's gonna be two of us on the camera as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Great. So we can kind of see all four of you. Uh, wonderful. If uh, you can all uh, just keep your hands up so we can uh, see where they are while you're doing this. Perfect. Are you ready to go? Okay. Uh, can we get five minutes on the clock, please? And first question. Zinc oxide is a white material that is not only treasured by artists, but also used in medicine. What ailment 
would you most commonly use zinc oxide for? Pass. 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 Uh, how long does it take Mercury to orbit the sun? No uh, yeah, so uh, one of you needs to turn your volume uh, off so that it doesn't echo. Yeah, well, sorry. How sorry. long does it yeah. take Mercury to orbit in Earth phase? Sorry? Sorry? How long does it take Mercury to orbit the sun in Earth phase? Orbit the sun And again, keep, please keep your hands up. Thanks. I think it's 80. 80, 88. Uh, that is correct. Okay. Okay. What is the hardest? This is the hardest working muscle in the body. What is its muscle tissue called? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, a final answer, cardiac muscle. Okay, that is correct. Okay, okay uh, for this uh, next question, you may use calculators or pencil and paper. Find the next number in this sequence. 5, 10, 30, 120, 600. Times 3,600. Uh, that is correct. Okay. okay. Um, the insulant between two plates of a capacitor is called what? And again, uh, if Insul we, hands where we can see them. What? Um, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. The insulant between two plates of a capacitor is called what? Skip. Skip. Yeah. Skip this back. Okay. Um, what is the organ system in which you would find all three of these following items? The masti, catori, the temporanteus uh, portalis, and the gastronemus. Digestive system. Okay, that is incorrect. Oh, wow. um, what does a 502 HTTP status message indicate? Should we just skip it? Skip, skip. skip. Okay. What is a depression on a terrestrial planet or satellite caused by an impact or explosion called? Crater. That is correct. The destructive process by which rocks are changed on exposure to atmospheric agents at or near the Earth's surface with little or no transport of loosened or altered material is called what? Weathering. That is correct. <laughs> what is the name of the structure that is formed from the ovule of a plant after fertilization has taken place? Uh. Skip. Skip. Okay. Um, going back to the first uh, question, zinc oxide is used to treat what physical ailment? We'll skip it. Yeah, skip. Okay. Um, the insulator between two plates of a capacitor is called what? Skip. Okay. Dielectric. Di Dielectric, very good. Um, a 502 HTTP message means what? Gateway arrow. Bad gateway, yeah, basically. Okay. And uh, final question, uh, what is the name of the structure that is formed from the ovule of a plant after fertilization has taken place? Ovulate. Okay, uh, that's incorrect. And that's our time. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, uh, Steminus, seven correct. Well done, thank you. Okay. Next so, team. Uh, next team is UIP Science. Yes. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Okay, um, is the next team ready? Yes, the next team is ready. Okay, uh, great. If we could have the next team, please turn on your uh, video and unmute. Okay, and um, are you all in separate locations? Yes. Okay, great. So if all of you can uh, stay unmuted and any discussion you have, just go ahead and have it on the Zoom. Okay. Um, and again, uh, please keep your hands, you know, kind of like this or like this, whatever you want, just so we can see that you're not Googling things. Okay. Dr. Google's not competing in this competition. Are you ready? Okay. So first question. Which form of marble is known for being pure white? And again, keep your hands up where we can see them, please. Thank you. Um, skip. Okay. Uh, what is the name given to a constant? What is the name given to the constant that relates the energy of a photon to its frequency? And again, please keep your hands where we can see them, both, both hands. Thank you. Skip. Okay. What is the scientific term for a cold-blooded animal? Cold-blooded. Um, is it ectotherm? Uh, no, that is incorrect. If 10 people can complete a particular job in 12 days, if you have 20 people employed, how many days will it take to complete the same job? Can you repeat the question? If it takes uh, 10 people 12 days to complete a particular job, if you have 20 people, how many days will it take to complete the same job? Six. That is correct. The ability of a material to be formed by hammering or rolling is known as what? Skip. What do we call it when our sensory nerves receive noxious input? or noxious stimuli? Skip. What is the full form of the acronym CRT? Uh, cathode ray tube. That is correct. What statement simply says that if you have a collection of sets, there is a way to select one element for, from each set. Skip. What is studied in forensic paleontology? Keep. If we are in Arizona in the United States and we visit the natural wonder called the wave, which is a rock formation on the slopes of the Coyote Buttes, what is that rock made of? Uh, is it sandstone rock? Uh, that is correct. 
Okay, going back to the first question that you skipped. Which form of marble is known for being pure white? Mm, Carrara marble. Okay, that is incorrect. Um, what is the name given to the constant that relates the energy of a photon to its frequency? Skip. Okay. The ability of a material to be formed by hammering or rolling is known as what? Is it malleability? Uh, that is correct. What's, uh, what statement simply says that if you have a collection of sets, there is a way to select one element from each set? Skip. Okay. What is studied in forensic paleontology? And that Skip. is okay. And that's our time. Very good. So we've got one, two, three, four correct. Well done. So Thank you. If we can uh, move on to Team Epic. Team Epic has only three members. Please confirm if you're expecting a fourth member to join. If not, we will move on to the next team. Okay, so if Team Epic only has three members, they can go ahead and play with uh, three. All right, Team Epic has been promoted and they can turn their cameras on now. Okay, Team uh, Epoch, can we get your cameras on? Okay, and where's the third member of your team? Uh, Hannah, uh, can we get your camera? Oh, it's on. Wait. It looks like we're seeing the inside of your laptop. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> covered. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, no, no worry. Okay, so if everybody can uh, keep your hands you know, up like this so we can always see them. Okay, that's great. Uh, if you're ready to go, we've got five minutes on the clock. What asteroid measures 21 miles long and sometimes approaches as close to 75 light seconds from Earth. Uh, skip. Okay. The plant Urtica dioicea is better known as what? And Mert, if you can keep both hands up, please. Thanks. Okay. Uh, skip. What is the name of the receptors that interpret pain? Nerve. Uh, that is incorrect. Okay, so this is a calculation question. You're free to use a calculator if you need to. Assume that a card is drawn from a standard 52 card deck. What is the probability that it is an ace? Uh, four out of 52. Uh, which is, simplify, please. Uh, one out of 15. Okay, that is correct. Okay, uh, again, hands back where we can see them. This is not a calculation question. I am the only number that is located between a square and a cube. I am smaller than 50, and I am an even number. What number am I? Skip. Okay. Dirac's theory was saved by American physicist Carl Anderson's 1932 discovery of the first known example of antimatter. 
Examining photographs of a cloud chamber bombarded by cosmic rays, Anderson noticed the track of what antiparticle of an electron? Skip. Okay. Yeah. Who was considered the father of modern toxicology? To uh, toxicology? Yes. Skip. Okay. A resistor's first three color bands are brown, black, and red. What is its value? What, what do those bands signify? Yes. So what is the resistance in ohms if that's the color bands that you see on the resistor? So brown, black, red. One fifty. Uh, that is incorrect. In 1933, Mr. Cleo McVicker developed a new wallpaper cleaner, which proved to be excellent in removing the dust given off by coal furnaces. Unfortunately, the demand for the product dropped in the 1940s. His son, Joseph McVicker, discovered a new innovative adaptation for the wallpaper cleaner. What do we call that product? Should we just skip this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what term was coined by the ancient by the ancient Greeks to describe the appearance of the star Sirius? Skip. Okay. What asteroid that measures twenty one miles long? approaches as close as 75 light seconds from Earth. Mm. Skip this. The plant Urtica dioisa is better known as what? The Rose? Uh, that is incorrect. Okay, so I am the only number between a square and a cube. I'm smaller than 50 and I'm an even number. Skip. Okay, uh, what is the antiparticle of an electron? Wait, 26 for the last one. Uh, the 26 is correct. Uh, what is the antiparticle of the electron? And that's our time. Okay, uh, so uh, you got uh, two correct out of that. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay, so if we can have Team Haza. Team Haza is promoted and ready. Okay, so Team Haza, if you can uh, turn on your um, cameras and unmute your microphone. Okay, uh, Team Haza, you only have three people playing today. Is that correct? Uh, there's four, but I'm not sure what's going on with the other. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so it looks like uh, Jay, Hun Jay Hunta, uh, you need to turn on your camera, please. Is that the fourth member of your team? I think that's yeah, okay. Uh, that person needs to turn on their camera, please. Okay, just one second. <laughs> He's trying to connect. He's trying to turn on his camera. Okay. Um, if uh, he's unable to co uh, connect. Are you all in the same room? Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, 
possibly if that person could come and stand behind one of you, that would work too. All right. Okay, excellent. So if everybody can kind of put your hands up or we can see them, you know, just rest your chin on it or something like that. Okay, it just it put them in a comfortable way because it's going to be sitting like that for five minutes. Okay, everybody. Uh, okay, I need one more hand I'm missing. Okay, there we go. So set to go. First question. What was the first successful flyby mission to Mars? Um, opportunity. And again, hands where we can see them, please. <laughs> I'm sorry? Mariner 4. Mariner 4, that is correct. Okay. Um, which UK native tree is also known as Gein, G E A N? And again, please keep your hands where we can see them. Uh, Laura, hands up, please. Thanks. Uh, which native tree is known as Gein, uh, like G E A N? Okay, and Laura, we keep losing the person next to you. Maybe if he could stand up behind so we could see his hands. Okay, um, Jay, okay, skip, skip. Okay, instruments used to measure pain intensity and sensitivity are known by what name? Pain intensity. And again, we've got to be able to see your hands, please. Camera. <laughs> Sorry. Dollarimeter? Dollarimeter? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. And guys, we gotta we've got to see the hands, please. Okay. Uh, this question, um, you can use a calculator if necessary. A card is selected at random from a 52 card deck. Assuming all cards are equally likely to be selected. What is the probability that a red card was selected given that a king was selected? Okay. I'm sorry. Zero point zero one three. Okay, uh, that is incorrect. Okay. Um, now, uh, no more calculation questions. So keep your hands where we can see them. I am the smallest number with 10 divisors. I am smaller than 50 and I am a multiple of 12. What number am I? Mm -hmm. 24. 24. 24, uh, that is incorrect. Okay, Carl Anderson and his group examined cosmic rays and in 1935 made another appoint, uh, important discovery with Seth Niedermeyer. This particle has the same charge as the electron and about 200 times its mass. It was initially thought to be a meson transmitting the strong nuclear force, but interacted too weakly with protons and neutrons. What is this middleweight lepton now called? 
I'm sorry? Yuan, thank you. Correct answer. Who is the person that is credited with revolutionizing the field of firearm examination by advancing the use of comparison my, uh, microscopy? Okay, skip. A resistor's first three color bands are red, yellow, and black. What is its resistance in ohms? 35. 35, 35. Okay, that is incorrect. And that's also our time. Uh, you have three uh, correct. Uh, so you win your bracket. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, next, yeah, next up is uh, this B. Okay, great. Uh, wonderful, guys. If you can uh, keep your mics unmuted, just have any discussion. Uh, in the Zoom, keep your hands where we can see them nicely. That's great. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we've got five minutes on the clock and we're ready to go. Which uh, the space probe Dawn was launched in September uh, 2007 and visited Ceres in 2015. What other asteroid, the second largest in the main belt, was visited? And again, if we can keep hands where we can see them, please. Uh, pass. Okay. A coelacanth is what type of creature? Pass. Which hormone maintains the volume of urine produced by the kidneys? Dietary hormone. Uh, which hormone? Dietary hormone. Okay, uh, that's uh, incorrect. It's the antidiuretic. Uh, a card is selected at random from a 52 card deck. You may use your calculators for this. Assuming all cards are equally likely to be selected, what is the probability that a king was selected given that it was a red card selected? One, one in 26. Okay, that is incorrect. <clears throat> There are only two numbers that are twice the sum of their individual digits. One of them is zero. I am the other one. And I am a multiple of nine. Which number am I? Uh, 18. Uh, that is correct. OK, uh, that was the last calculation question. So hands where we can see them again. Uh, although it has been long known that light has wave-like properties, Physicists used to be puzzled how light waves could propagate through apparently empty space, which seemed impossible. It was therefore proposed that space was filled with what medium through which light waves moved? Interstellar. I'm sorry? Interstellar. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Thank you. Um, who wrote the first treaties on the use of the scientific method in the field of criminal investigation. Yes. Okay, older phones such as TDMA did not come with a removable card which kept subscriber information. However, newer phones, especially GSM, contain this small removable card. What is that card called? SIM, hey, SIM card, right? SIM card. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. In 1945, Percy Spencer was conducting an experiment with vacuum tubes. He was someone who was constantly eating snacks and had a candy bar in his pocket. During the experiment, he noticed that his snack was melting. This led to the invention of what modern day appliance? Microwave. Okay, microwave, right? Yeah. That's microwave. correct. What barred spiral galaxy will collide with our galaxy in about five million years, five billion years, rather? The Andromeda? That is correct. 
Okay, going back to the ones you skipped, the Dawn probe visited two asteroids. One was Ceres. What was the other asteroid the Dawn probe visited? And the mark, can we see both hands? Please, thanks. And it's the uh, second largest asteroid in the main asteroid belt. Uh, the Hubble asteroid? Uh, no, that's incorrect. A coelacanth is what type of creature? Uh, a detrovite? I'm sorry? A detrovite? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Okay. Who wrote the first scientific treaties on the use of the scientific method in the field of criminal investigation? Benford. Uh, no, that is incorrect. And uh, you have attempted all 10 questions. Uh, so let's see, you got one, two, three. Uh, you got four of the questions correct. Well done. All right, thank you. Okay, so can we have Mr. Chris's disciples? Yes, the team is ready. Okay, so Mr. Chris's disciples, great. Uh, so if we can have uh, your cameras on, and are there only three of you? Um, there's four of us here, but all of us are in the same room, but they're just gonna turn their cameras on. Okay, great. Yeah, so if you can just stand so we can uh, see everybody's hands. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but do it in some way that's comfortable because you're going to be sitting like that for five minutes, okay? <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, first question. The International Astronomical Union created a category for bodies which orbit between beyond Neptune and our dwarf planets. Pluto, Iris, Haumea, and Maki Maki were the first members of this category. What are they called? No comets, right? Huh? No, no comet, they're not comets. What, uh, are they're the the what's the question? Boat. What are the bodies that orbit in the Kuiper belt, basically? Like like Pluto. What are the planets that orbit uh, in the uh, dwarf. dwarf planet? Dwarf planet. Dwarf planet. Dwarf yeah. planet. Yeah. Unmute, yeah, Baba. Dwarf planet? He's unmuted. Unmute. Okay, you said dwarf planet. Is that the final answer? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is incorrect. Um, okay. And again, I need to be able to see everybody's hands. So the two guys who are sitting down, I can't quite see. Okay. An Archaeopteryx is what type of creature? An Archaeopteryx is what type of creature? The first bird that the first the dinosaur that turns the first bird, I think. So ah, very good. Oh, okay. oh, I got it right. <laughs> Okay, uh, which type of movement facilitates the passage of ova in the fallopian tubes? What kind it's of a reproduction question? What um, what what's the what is it again? Can you repeat what, the question? What type of movement facilitates the passage of ova in fallopian tubes? What type of passage facilitates the what type of movement? What type of, what type of movement huh? facilitates the movement of yeah, yeah. We of ova? Of ova. In the no, reproductive tube. Uh, we skip. Wait. We skip. Can we come back to the question after the yes. next one? Okay, we'll skip that one. Okay, this is a calculation question. You okay. can use calculators if you need to. A card is selected at random from a standard 52 card deck. We are told that a king is not selected. Assuming all cards are equally likely, what is the probability the Queen of Hearts was selected? Okay, how many kings are there? How four many? kings. Okay, wait. Four kings, six queen of hearts. Four, is selected. Forty-eight. There's how many kings of queen of hearts are there? One. Okay, so it's, it's one, out of, one out of four. Wait, wait. Fifty-two yeah. minus four, right? Yeah, that's four. That's how many four, cards you have for? And then there's, if there's only one, one queen of hearts. Okay, so it's one over forty-eight. It's queen of hearts, right? It has to be one over forty-eight. Yeah. Final answer. Oh, uh, uh, what is it? One over forty-eight. One over, 48. over forty-eight. Do we have to put it in uh, the sum of form? Yeah, that's correct. You got it. Yeah. Also, yeah, also, so also the question before answer. this question is it cyclosis? Uh, no, that's incorrect. You shouldn't have answered. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, so again, hands where we can see them. You may have heard of the uh, famous Fibonacci numbers. 
where, you know, one, one, two, three, five, where the next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. This number is one of the Fibonacci series. It is the largest cube in the sequence. What number is the largest cube in the Fibonacci sequence? What, is, what number is the largest cube in the Fibonacci sequence? Largest cube? Yeah, in the Fibonacci sequence. There's a lot of numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks, Detective. Um, can you let's just give us one? We don't have time, enough time. Enough. What's the next question? Skip. Okay, uh, so we'll go on to the next question. Einstein's theory of general relativity revolutionized our understanding of the relationship between space and time. However, he made an important oversight in assuming the universe was static. To allow for a static universe, he added a variable to his equations to counterbalance gravity. What was that called? Cosmological constant. Excellent, correct. Yes. <laughs> we need to uh, <laughs> <he's the laughs> develop the fundamental principles of question, question document examination. Skip. Okay. The acronym SMS stands for what when talking about cellular service? What's SMS when talking about uh, what? When talking about cell phone service, what, cell does SMS cell phone phone. what does SMS stand for? Uh, quick, quick. Skip, skip. So no short message service. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Okay. On September 3rd, 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming returned from vacation to find that his Staphylococci culture is beset with mold. He noticed something and it made a discovery of a life-saving medicine. What is that medicine? What's the discovery of life-saving medicine? What was the medicine? That is correct. What yeah. is the name of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy? What's the <laughs> name of the supermassive black hole? <laughs> okay, that's it. And that's our time. Excellent. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yes! 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 Okay, you want to go down. down. <laughs> okay, well done. Uh, so if we can get um, Team uh, Stemania and uh, get them set. Uh, team Stemania is ready. Excellent. Okay, you're all okay. ready. Uh, again, please uh, just kind of keep your hands up where uh, we can see them, find some comfortable way. <laughs> don't look like you're being robbed. Just <laughs> find a nice, comfortable way to hold them. <laughs> and you're not posing for selfies. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, again, please keep hands where we can see them. Okay. Uh, used as a white food coloring, white pigment in arts and crafts, and as a sunscreen, which dioxide is naturally found as rutite and brookite? It's, 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 okay, pass, 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 pass. Yes, okay. For every particle of matter, there is a corresponding particle with identical mass and spin, but opposite charge. What are these corresponding particles called? Protons and neutrons. Oh, it's with protons and electrons. They're, they're this, right? Yeah. Protons and electrons? Uh, that is incorrect. Okay. Okay. Oh. A leech <laughs> survives by feeding off the blood of other larger beings. What is this type of behavior known as? Oh. 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 Autotrophic. Oh. Autotrophic. Oh. No, autotrophic. Can we pass? Okay. A uh, cricket team, uh, you can use a calculator for this. A cricket team scores 80 runs from the first 20 overs. What is the required run rate to reach the target of 290 runs from the remaining 30 overs? So say 30 overs, right? We have eight runs till now. How many 30 overs? Yeah. They have eight runs till now. How much do I have? Can you pass? How much you pass? Yeah. Okay, can we pass? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, so again, uh, hands where we can see them. Uh, the force which cause the force which causes an airplane to move forward is called what? 
It's not a resistance, it's the, it's the one. Wait, 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 let me answer the question. No, wait, 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 wait. Um, resistance For the question before about the animal behavior, was it heterotroph? Uh, no, that is incorrect. For the airplane, it's okay. There's there's thrust? lift, there's thrust, thrust. But which which one for it to fly? Wait, can you repeat the airplane question? Yes. What is the name of the force which causes an airplane to move forward? Thrust. 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 That is correct. Most of us know that fingernails are composed of a substance called keratin. Do you know, however, to which compound keratin belongs? Keratin is a type of what? Protein. That is correct. Oh, yeah. Uh, in computing, <laughs> In computing, a parity bit is added for the purpose of what? Parity. What, what do we use parity bits for? Can we pass and come back? Yes. Okay. A person is about to sing on a stage. He's a number. Before singing, he introduces himself as an even palindromic five-digit number with no zeros and the product of all his five individual digits is four. What number is he? So five digit palindromic number, even, and the product of all five digits is four. The product of all five digits is four. Pass, 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 pass. Okay. Uh, what do scientists consider the biggest factor affecting the Holocene extinctions? Can you extinction? extinction? Yes. Like, what do scientists consider to be the biggest factor affecting the Holocene extinctions? Holocene. 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 Can we pass? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, this is a geologic feature. Its profile is not steep, but it produces basaltic rock that makes new land. What is this geographic feature? Pass. Okay, uh, what it, uh, is a white food coloring, white pigment in arts and crafts and is used as a sunscreen? It's a dioxide, naturally I found. Yeah, I think I think yeah. dioxide. Okay, excellent. Okay, next question. Uh, a uh -huh. cricket team scores 80 runs from the first 20 over. Pass that one? Okay, mm -hmm. in, in computing, what is a parity bit used for? Um, for, wait, um, it's for binary code um, for um, a form of error detection. Error, error correction. Now this is correct. And uh, oh, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, so error correction was correct. So we've got oh, uh, for, 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 a, for the Holocene it's, extinction, it's a human activity. Human activity. Human activity. Oh, the time is up. Uh, yes, the time would uh, run out right after you answered uh, error detection. So you got four out of ten. Well done. Thank you. Okay, uh, last team is the blueprints. Excellent. Okay, so uh, guys, um, if you can unmute and uh, I'll just keep your hands where we can see them. That'll be great. Okay, are you ready? Okay, if I can get five minutes on the clock. And first question. Which alkaline earth metal is a silvery white, burns the brightest white of all the metals, and in its carbonate form is used for weightlifting and rock climbing? Skip. I'm sorry? We skip. Okay. Uh, everything must be weighed, even subatomic particles. What standard term is used for expressing the mass of protons, 
neutrons and electrons. What standard term? Yeah, what, what is the measurement used for measuring the mass of protons, electrons, and neutrons? Okay. Uh, lobsters, crabs, and shrimp all belong to what group of animals? I'm sorry. I, you need to turn off the sound on the other computer. Okay, so what's the answer? Crustacean. Crustacean. Okay, thank you. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, if 20% of sample, uh, and this is a calculation question, you can use calculators if needed. If 20% of samples of mangoes are rotten in a bag of 800 mangoes, how many rotten mangoes are in the bag? 160. Uh, that is correct. The force that resists an airplane moving forward is called what? Air resistance. Air resistance. Uh, another name for it. Right. Uh, correct. Okay. Um, what is the name given to cells solely located within the nervous system? Neurons. That is correct. What is the process of encoding information in such a way that only authorized parties can read it? Encryption. That is correct. A, a, a woman comes to greet you. She says that she is a five-digit palindromic number with no zeros. The sum and the product of all of her five individual digits are both eight. What number is she? Skip. Okay. The Meganeura were giant insects with a three foot wingspan, a one meter wingspan. What modern insects do they resemble? Can you repeat the question? The Meganeura were giant insects with a one meter wingspan. What modern insect do they resemble? Skip. Okay, I am a geological feature that allowed ancient Egypt to flourish. What am I? Geological feature, river, Nile River. Okay. Geological feature, the Nile River. Okay, that is incorrect. Okay, um, so what alkaline earth metal is a silvery white burns the brightest white of all the metals and in carbonate form is used for weightlifting and rock climbing. I know that people like we use chalk for weightlifting. Barium? Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, what unit of measure is used to uh, measure the mass of protons, neutrons, and electrons? Wait, skip, 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 skip. Okay, uh, this is a five-digit palindromic number with no zeros. The sum and product of the five digits are both eight. What number is it? Was the first question calcium? Uh, no, it was not. And can we guess kil kilograms for the uh, orcs? Sorry to interrupt. Okay, uh, and uh, kilograms is not correct. Thank you. We got one, two, three, four correct. Okay, we are going to go into our first sudden death. So if we can bring back the uh, stemania. Okay, so if we can pr uh, promote stemania back. 
house. Egypt. It's Egypt. Oh, yeah. uh, promoting stamina in a, in a minute. Okay. So as soon as they're promoted back, uh, we'll go back and forth with tiebreaker questions. Um, the first team to get the tiebreaker question incorrect when the other team gets their question correct will uh, lose and the other team will go forward. Okay, so Stamania, are you ready? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, yeah, Mary, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Stamania, what was the name of the first female launched into space? The first woman launched into space. Uh, can we pass? Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. Um, it's uh, Valentina Tur Tureshkova. Uh, excellent. Okay, so uh, team uh, The Blueprints, this is your corresponding question. Okay, that's Svetlana or something else. Who was, uh, what was the name of the first human being launched into space? Oh, Yuri Gagarin. Okay, so it is a tie on the first question. We go on to question number two. Um, Team Stamania, what was the name of any of the first three humans to leave low Earth orbit? So what is the name of any of the first three humans to go beyond low Earth orbit toward the moon? Um, is spacewalk uh, below or is the spacewalk, where's spacewalk? Can you repeat the question? Yes. there were. The first three people to leave low Earth orbit and go around the moon. I need oh, to know of any one of them. <laughs> um, you got it, you got this. Um, does the first men on the moon count? Or to no. leave, to no, leave, to leave the moon. Is spacewalk on the Wait, wait, wait. It's in Apollo 8, right? Apollo 8. Is okay. Is spacewalk? Yeah, just, just consider. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, just say yes. Uh, okay, if yes, then then it's Alexei Leonov. But I'm not sure if it's um spacewalk is low Earth orbit or. Um, no, wait. Just try. Just do okay, it. Okay, yeah. um, Alexei Leonov. Okay, uh, that is uh, incorrect. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the first spacewalk was in uh, low Earth orbit, so it was either Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, or Bill Anders. I don't know uh, any of those people. to go around the moon. Okay, uh, Team the Blueprints, if you get this correct, you can win. What was the name of the second human to walk on the moon? And I need the correct name, not uh, nicknames. Aldrin. Something Aldrin. Aldrin. Aldrin? <laughs> no, no, something Aldrin. First guy was. Yeah. Be, I think was, but that's his nickname. Yeah. That's his nickname. Okay. <laughs> 15 seconds left. I'm sorry. It's a cyclist. It's a cyclist. say Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. I need a correct name, not a nickname. It's first name. What's the first? Name? I don't think. think. Okay, we've got five seconds. Okay. Um, so, uh, Team Stamania, do you know the name? Yes. 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 yes, yes. <laughs> what? Edwin Buzz Alvin. Edwin Aldrin. Yes, yeah, that is correct. That's his uh, name. So Team Stamania, you move forward. Congratulations. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we now have to uh, uh, prepare to go on to the next uh, round of eliminations. Dan, I'd like to interrupt for a minute, please. Yes, please. Uh, we want to verify the score for one of the teams, uh, and we would like to take a two-minute break to verify the same. Okay, that sounds fine. 
Please do. Uh, the students, please be online. Uh, we will be back in two minutes with the updated uh, with the update. Hi students, I'd like to inform that team Haza and team Epoch will have to get into a tiebreaker. There was one answer that we misheard, but we revisited and it has been uh, corrected. So we would like to have a tiebreaker as both the teams gave two correct answers. 
we will promote team Haza and team Epoch uh, to panelists and we'll go into tiebreaker. Team Epoch and Haza, please be ready. You will be promoted to the tiebreaker session now. Please turn your cameras on along with the mics and hands where we can see them. Lay your hand. Team Haza, please be on standby. We're getting Team Epoch online. Uh, so if I could suggest, uh, let's go ahead and go to the first two elimination rounds, and uh, then we can come back and uh, determine uh, who goes into the third, uh, since we're uh, still trying to find uh, Team Epic. Sounds good. Okay, so Team Haza, please hang on. Uh, we'll go back and uh, do the uh, um, tiebreaker to figure out which of you goes forward to the elimination round. Okay, so who will be our first two teams for... Um, Team GMA and Team Steminists will be going for first round. Okay. Team GMA, please turn your cameras on. Uh, yes, just a moment. Also, can you promote one of our team members? Um, quick question. Uh, so I just wanted to ask, is this a tiebreaker or uh, what is it? Uh, we're going to be doing a tiebreaker for Team Epic and Team Haza. But uh, before we get to that, since uh, Team Epic is just coming back, we're going to uh, go ahead and do our second bracket. So this is to determine which three teams go into the finals. All right. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Okay, so uh, who are our first two teams going to uh, this bracket? Team GMA and Team Steminists. Um, yeah, you guys haven't promoted one of our team members, uh, Ditya Manin. Okay, so if uh, we can get... Also a quick question, is this a sudden death round or is this the same round as we had before? This is just like the last round. Okay. Um, so it's a bracket, uh, each team gets 10 questions with five minutes to answer. Okay, so team GMA, do we have all of your team members? We'll just check, just one second. I see three of you. Okay, uh, Aditya, 
Are you uh, your GMA? Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's all four of you then. Great. Okay, so Team GMA, uh, you will be getting the uh, first questions. Are you ready? Again, uh, just as before, please keep your hands up where we can uh, see them, especially now because we're down to the um, final elimination. So are you ready? Okay, uh, Team GMA, please go ahead and unmute so that uh, we'll be able to hear what you're saying. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, can, can I get five on the clock, please? Are we audible? Uh, yes, you're audible. Okay. Let me get five minutes on the clock and we're ready to go. The sixth planet from the sun is Saturn and it's known for its rings. What are those rings primarily made of? What is the biggest component of those rings? Ice and rock. Uh, okay. Diamond. Ice is correct. Diamond's done. Or ice and rock, yeah. Uh, what is an oak apple? Oak apple, what do you think? And uh, Aditya, if I can keep the hands up, please. Uh, same with uh, um, your other team member. I can't see your hands. The young lady in the striped shirt. What do you think? Yeah, we we'll skip, we we'll skip, we we'll skip. A person having a heart attack often complains of shoulder pain. What type of pain, what is this type of pain perception called? Could you repeat it? Can you repeat the question? A person who is having a heart attack often complains of shoulder pain. What is this type of pain perception called? Pain perception. Um, pain perception. Can I skip? Yeah, skip. Skip. Okay. Uh, you can use a calculator for this one if you need to. A card is selected at random from a standard 52 card deck. Assuming all cards are equally likely to be selected, what is the probability that a red king was selected? Right. 26. Um, 26 red. Two kings, right? So one by 26. Right. Give me 26, two kings, one by 26. Yeah, one by 26. Uh, that is correct. You said it earlier. Okay, uh, you also may use a calculator for this if you need to. I am the largest square in the Fibonacci sequence. I am smaller than 150. What number am I? Mm, wait one sec. Largest square root. Fibonacci series. Um, so it's less than 105? Uh, less than 150. 150. 144? Square. 144. Uh, that is correct. Okay. It took the discovery of which chemical element to discredit the long held idea of the existence of phylogiston, a false theory developed by German scientist J.J. Becher. What is this Can element? The theory? Can you repeat the theory? Uh, the theory was called phylogiston. I think we'll skip. Skip, yeah. Skip. Okay. Wait. Um, who studied the use of fingerprints for personal identification as well as developing the methodology for classifying them. Oh, I think I, I know this. I think I know this. Um, what was it? Francis Galton? Francis, Sir Francis Galton. Uh, that is correct. Uh, which digit is represented by a blue band on a resistor? Which? Wait, could you repeat? I didn't hear the last part. Uh, which digit is represented by a blue band on a resistor? And if we can keep hands up or we can see them, both hands, please. Six. Right. six. Is it six? six? Yes. Okay. Alfred Nobel is well known for being the patron of the Nobel Peace Prize and other annual merit awards in the categories of literature, medicine, chemistry, and physics. 
However, his fortune was made in the invention of what? Gunpowder. I'm pretty sure dynamite and gunpowder. Yeah, dynamite. Dynamite and gunpowder. Dynamite, yes. Okay. Apart from the sun, what is the nearest star to the earth which can be seen from the northern hemisphere without a telescope? Uh, Do you know this? Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, I think we'll skip. We'll, go back we'll to skip. This. We'll skip this. We'll skip. Okay. What is an oak apple? Uh, it's. Uh, Do you remember? Yes, it's some. Just it's a god. Um. It's a, it's a, like an apple like god. Uh, and that's our time. Okay. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, an oak apple is actually a gall of a wasp. Yeah, I said that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, GMA, you scored six out of ten correct. Well done. Can you also answer the the first question that we skipped? Because I think you still have like two seconds on the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Th yeah. There was. Yeah, uh, actually went three seconds over um, before I called time, so we're good. Okay, uh, Team Stemina, Steminus, sorry. Um, okay, so Team GMA, you can turn off your uh, cameras. Thank you. Okay, Team Steminus. Okay, hands where we can see them, all good. And let's keep them where I can see them. So just make yourselves comfortable. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, you guys need to unmute. Okay. Uh, what is wild two? Skip. Okay. The green woodpecker's call is known as what? Skip. Skip. skip, skip. Okay. A machine which can help relieve the symptoms of pain is known by the acronym of TENS. What does the letter N stand for in that acronym? Yes. No, no. Skip. Skip. Okay. Uh, you may use a calculator for this question. A card is selected at random from a standard 52 card deck. Assuming all cards are equally likely to be accepted, what is the probability that a red card or a king is selected? Red card or a king? Card or a king, so 26 oh, no, plus two is 23. Four plus two, right? 28, mm, a red oh, yeah, card, so that's 20, half the deck. 28 out of 52. 52. That's uh, 14 over 26, which is seven over 13. Yeah, seven over 13. Perfect. Okay. Uh, again, you can use a calculator if you need. I am the smallest whole number with three different digits. What number am I? Smallest whole number that has three different digits. Wait, smallest so digit has three. Three similar digits. No, three different. Three different. So one twenty-three. One twenty-three. One twenty-three. Uh, that is incorrect. Okay, melancholy is one of the numbers <laughs> believed to make its way through the human body during medieval times. It's also known as what colored bile? Could you, so repeat? Can you repeat the question? Yes, melancholy was considered to be one of the four humors in medieval times. It's also known as what color bile? What color bile is known as melancholy? Um, I don't know. It's thing where they have like no. um, color of melancholy. Yeah. Um, no, no, wait, I remember this. Yeah. What, what is it? Do you uh, want to skip it? No, no, skip, for no, skip for now. Skip, skip yeah. Uh, who developed a method for determining the ABO blood type of a dried blood stain? Dried blood stain. Okay. Uh, on a resistor, what digit does the color orange denote on a band? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember 
three. It's three, right? Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, keep your hands up where we can see them. A Swiss engineer by the name of George de Mistral came up with the idea of what brilliant fastening product after becoming irritated with the number of burrs that were attached to his clothes and his dog's fur. So is the question about what he discovered? Yes. What did he invent? A leash? Uh, incorrect. Okay. When a star of three or more solar masses explodes in a supernova explosion, what type of celestial body is formed? A black hole. Uh, that is correct. Okay, going back to the first question. Uh, what type of celestial body is wild to? A comet? Com that is correct. Uh, the green woodpecker's call is known as what? Green woodpecker's call. Wait, that was... And again, keep hands up or we can see them, please. Thank you. Is it called yaffling? Yeah, yaffling? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, in the acronym for a machine that helps relieve pain, the acronym is T E N S. What does the letter N stand for? N N N. No, no, no. Nerve. Nerve. Is it no? Nerve. Nervous. Nerve. Nerve. Yeah, nerve. Nerve. No. Nerve. That is correct. Okay. Melancholy is one of the four humors. What type of bile is it? And time is up. Time is up. Uh, um, blue. Can we just say blue? Okay. No, it's not blue. Okay. Jungle. Jungle. Is it jungle? Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We have a tie. Okay. So we are going to go to uh, sudden death. Um, can we get... Uh, team GMA back. Okay, uh, so Team GMA, can you please turn on your cameras and unmute? Let me unmute there. Your thing is connected. Okay, uh, Team GMA. Uh, am I audible? Uh, yes, you are. Yeah, I just want to confirm. I just wanted to confirm if our last uh, answer was recorded because we still had time to spend. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the, the word oak apple was not spoken before the uh, timer reached zero. Actually, uh, even three seconds after it had reached zero. Right, so it's counted, eh? Uh, no, it, it's not counted because uh, it was not said before the timer hit zero. Uh, so we have a, a sudden death. Uh, so if Team GMA, if you can uh, turn on your cameras, we'll ask you the first sudden death question. Okay. Uh, we got one more. Okay. And uh, for these sudden death questions, just to make sure nobody is using any devices, if everybody can just put your hands up on top of your head, because these aren't going to require a calculation. Okay. So I've got to be able to, to clearly see all eight hands. Um, I'm sorry, uh, the young lady wearing the stripes on Team GMA. Yeah. Uh, hands up here. Thank you. Okay. Uh, your question is this, who discovered the molecular structure of DNA? Uh, Rosalind Franklin. Uh, excellent. Okay, I would have accepted Franklin, Watson, or Crick. And actually, I'm glad you got Franklin because she's actually the one who did it. Okay, uh, team uh, Steminist, uh, if you can unmute and do the hands on the head. Okay, ready? Yeah. Uh, what system 
or scheme was developed by Annie Jump Cannon and Edward Pickering. And again, I, I need hands on the head so I can see them. Uh, what Could, you you the Could you repeat the question, please? Uh, what system was developed by Annie Jump Cannon and Carl Pickering, or Edward Pickering, rather? Pickering. Uh, can, we, can we? Hands up. Uh, keep hands up, please. Okay. Uh, I, I need the hands up. What's the answer? ALS. ALS. One time. ALS, uh, that is incorrect. Okay, thank you. So team GMA, you will move forward. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Okay. Um, Hi, Dan. We yes. have team Epoch and Hazar ready for the time. Okay. So we'll start with uh, uh, Team Haza. If they can uh, turn on their cameras and unmute. Okay. So that's three of the team members. Where's your fourth? Okay. Uh, the fourth team member, can you actually stand behind? Uh, one of the others, so we can see completely. Can you make um, Jay the host? Jay can jump. Okay, sorry. You can make Jay Han Jung in our team uh, co-host. Oh, uh, actually, you wouldn't need to be co-host. You just need to be promoted. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, so again, uh, just like I did with the last teams, for the tiebreakers, if everybody can just rest your hands on top of your head, because you're not going to need to calculate anything. Okay, what was discovered by Robert Wilson and Arno Penzias? And again, uh, hands up on top of your head, please. Wilson and Penzias. Robert Wilson and Penzias. Yes, yes. Uh, it, 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 it's just one question. Oh. <laughs> well, Robert Kenzai's. Wait, wait, Robert Wilson and. Penzias. Yeah, Wilson and Arno Penzias. Arno Okay, guys, just any idea? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Is this four minutes that we have? I uh, know you've got uh, about 15 seconds more to come up with an answer. What? Arrogant? Okay, okay. Can you say? Okay. Okay. Final answer. Arrogant. Arrogant. Um, Arrogant. I, I still didn't catch it. Arrogant. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it was the cosmic microwave background. Okay. Hang on. We'll go to the next question. Uh, can I get to Plaza? Or, sorry, no, uh, Team Epic, uh, Team Epic, please uh, unmute and turn on your cameras. Uh, yeah, sorry, what was the question? Oh, I, I haven't asked your question yet. Uh, uh, Hannah, uh, we can't see you again. Okay, there we go. So again, uh, just hands on your head because you're not going to need anything. And uh, you'll have 30 seconds in which to uh, answer the question. Okay? So the question is, who won the first Nobel Prize in physics? Uh, and again, keep your hands up. First Nobel Prize in physics. 
It was it Wilhelm? Uh, last name? I don't, I don't I don't know how to I don't know if it's correct, but Ronte again? Ronte Close enough. Wilhelm Ronte Excellent. Uh, so, Team uh, Epic, you move forward. Congratulations. Okay, so uh, Juanita, who are our next two teams up? Techno Kids and Epoch. I'm sorry, Techno Kids and Epoch. Okay. Um, since uh, Epoch is already on, uh, let's go ahead and do uh, your questions first. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, this will be uh, just like the prior uh, round. 10 questions, five minutes. And uh, please keep your hands up or we can see them. Uh, you ready to go? Okay. Chalk is a white sedimentary rock that mainly consists of calcium carbonate in the form of which mineral that defines the third level of the most scale of hardness? Sorry, can you repeat the question again? Okay. Chalk is a white sedimentary rock that mainly consists of calcium carbonate in the form of which mineral that is used to define the third level of the most scale of hardness? Calcite, calcite. Uh, calcite, that is correct. Okay. Um, the electromagnetic spectrum is made up of many wavelengths of light. As wavelengths increase, frequency decreases. Which type of light has a frequency immediately higher than visible light? Um, U UV, UV. Uh, that is correct. Okay. What is overgrowth? Uh, what is the overgrowth of algae in ponds and lakes that occurs when nitrates from the soil escapes in the groundwater column? Oh, sorry. Do you mean the environmental, like, uh, pollution, whatever? Is that what uh, you're trying to say? No, uh, there's a, a scientific name for the overgrowth of algae in a pond or lake. Eutrophication. Eutrophication. What? Eutrophication. Beautiful. That's correct. Okay. Uh, you may use a calculator for this question. A man buys an article for 3,000 durhams and sells it for 3,900 durhams. What is his percentage of profit? Wait, can you repeat? Yes, a man buys an article for 3,000 durhams and sells it for 3,900. What is his percent of profit? Uh, thirty percent. That is correct. Okay, uh, now uh, hands back where I can see them. Uh, there are no more calculation questions. Uh, the ratio between stress and strain values of a material within the elastic limit is known as what? Are we allowed to skip? Uh, yes. Skip. Okay. Skip. okay. What is the name of the tubes which connect the kidneys to the bladder? Um, I'm not sure if this ureters. That is correct. Oh my. Yeah. Uh, what is a malicious program, malicious computer program that is disguised as legitimate software called? Uh, oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Uh, let, let Did we say malware? Uh, no, it's a particular type of malware. That's too general. So it's. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, can you repeat the question? A, it is a computer, pro a malicious program that is made to look like. A legitimate piece of software. Trojan. Yes, correct. 
Okay. A prime number is a positive number having exactly two positive factors, itself and one. What is the second prime number plus the fourth prime number? Uh, skip, skip, skip. Okay. Um, Edmontosaurus was named after a city in which country? Could you repeat the question? Yes. The dinosaur Edmontosaurus was named after a city in what country? Skip. Okay. Yes. In, in Norway are some of the world's longest and deepest fjords. What process led to the formation of the fjords? So, sorry, the fjords? The fjords in Norway. What process led to the creation of those? Okay, and that's our time. Oh. Excellent. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of ten. Well done. Time's up. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to uh, team uh, Techno Kids or Techno Kids. Okay. So great. Again, please make sure all your hands are where I can see them. Okay, five minutes on the clock. In which industry is a number of products collectively known as white spirit frequently used? Alcohol. Guys, is it alcohol? I'm sorry? Uh, I'm just discussing. Is it alcohol? Uh, no, that's a No, I'm discussing. I'm discussing with my. Okay, fine. <laughs> It's okay, so you can skip, yeah. Okay, skip, skip. Okay. Uh, the great physicist Max Planck hypothesized that some types of energy could not take on any value. The value had to be a multiple of a very small quantity. What is that quantity called? Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. The great physicist Max Planck hypothesized that some types of energy could not take on any value. The value had to be a multiple of some small Is quantity. it Planck's constant? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Okay, many herb, uh, herbivorous animals, such as rabbits, will pass partially digested food in the feces only to be eaten again for further digestion. What is this process called? Pause. Okay, uh, you may use a calculator for this question. The cost of an article is 500 durhams. If it is sold at a 20% profit, what would be the selling price? Six hundred. Uh, that is correct. Okay, uh, again, hands where we can see them. Uh, what instrument is used to measure the aircraft's altitude during the approach phase of landing? Is the bridge. Yeah. Is it altimeter or barometer? The bridge. It won't be. I think it'll be altimeter. I think. Altimeter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the large, long bone? Found in the upper leg. Sorry? So could you repeat that, please? Of the large, long bone found in the upper leg. Well, could you repeat the last word, please? In the upper leg. I think we skip this. Let's skip, skip, skip. Okay. Um, which tech giant developed OLE, a technology that allows embedding and linking to objects. Which allows? Embedding and linking to objects. Uh, Elon Musk? Oh, Elon Musk, yeah. Uh, incorrect. No? Okay. A perfect number 
can be defined as a number whose positive factors, including itself, add up to twice its value. What is the first perfect number plus the number of factors it has? And you may use a calculator. So what is the first perfect number plus the number of factors it has? Jay, you have any idea? No. Okay. Can you repeat what a perfect number is? A perfect number is a number whose positive factors, including itself, add up to twice its value. Four. Is it four? Is the answer four? Uh, that is incorrect. Okay, when two objects touch, there is a transfer of material from one to the other. This trace evidence is the basis of forensic science. What is this idea known as? Skip. Skip. Okay. In the Giants Causeway at County Antrim, Northern Ireland, there are a large number of interlocking basalt columns up to 12 meters high. How were they formed? Sedimentation. Uh, that is incorrect. Okay, going back uh, to the first question, in which industry is <clears throat> the product white spirit frequently used? White spirit oh, is metals, no way. Can it be metal? Is it Divij? Divij, yeah. is it brewing? Do you know about, is it, do you think it's brewing? Brewing would come under alcohol, yeah. That, I don't think that's the correct answer. Let's try, uh, we don't have time. Brewing? Is it brewing? Uh, that, that, that is incorrect, and that's time. So one, two, uh, you uh, got two out of 10. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, congratulations, Epoch. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Renita, who are the uh, last two teams? We have Mr. Chris Disciples and Stamina Mina. Okay. We have Chris Disciples ready. Okay, uh, Chris Disciples ready. Okay, very good. And again, since this is uh, uh, the last uh, round before we go to the finals, uh, please just uh, hands on the head so we can clearly see them, okay? Yo, I don't know we're getting arrested. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting arrested. This <laughs> okay, so five minutes on the clock, and here we go. Magnesium chloride crystals are 99% of the time a milky white color. What are these crystals commonly used for in cold climates? What are magnesium chloride uh, crystals used in cold climate for? Yes. Uh, heating? No, think, think, wait. Melted ice? Wait. Uh, ice? No, no, wait. Uh, can you say the next question? What do we think for this one? Okay, and again, keep hands up while we can see them, please. Thank you. Okay, bananas, sunflower seeds, kidney beans, and potatoes are all foods that contain radioactive isotopes, uh, but the levels are so low they pose no danger. What substance in these foods makes them radioactive? Potassium. Uh, that is, uh, in many invertebrates, especially flatworms, ovaries and testes occur in the same animal. What is such an animal called? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Yes. In many invertebrates, ovaries and testes occur in the same animal. What are animals called that have both ovaries and testes? Hermaphrodites. Uh, that is correct. Don't, quite, don't ask why I know that. Uh, forces are called concurrent when their lines of action meet where? Um, Wait, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. Forces are called concurrent when their lines of action meet where? Uh, equilibri equilibrium? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Okay. Um, if 5 is to x as 25 is to 50, what is x? 
2.5. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 2.5, uh, right? Can I repeat the question, sir? 10. What is your final answer? Is it 10? Wait. 5 is to X. It's 25 is 10. Can you repeat so the 10, question? Yeah, 10. 10. 10. 10. Yeah, yeah, 10. Okay. Do we have an answer? 10. Final 10. answer, 10. 10. Final answer, 10. That is correct. Okay, uh, again, hands where we can see them. Uh, what is the name of the organ system to which all three of the following belong? The trachea, the bronchus, and the diaphragm. Respiratory. Respiratory. That is correct. In C++, how many times is a constructor called in the lifetime of an object? In what? Skip. Okay. During winter months in either hemisphere, you can see flashing, snaking lights in the sky near the poles. What do we call that phenomenon? Borealis. Okay, yeah, it's the aurora, all except Borealis or Australia. Um, the wearing away of soil and rock by the action of streams, glaciers, waves, wind, and underground water is called what? Erosion. 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 That is correct. The phylum transports what through the plant? What? Repeat. The phylum. The phylum. The phylum transports what substance through the plant? Uh, the phylum. The, the phylum. The phylum what? Transports what? Transport what does the phylum waste? transport in plants? Waste? Uh, we think we have two minutes. Glucose, nitrogen, potassium. What does a phylum transport through plants? Yes, that's a question. Okay. Isn't uh, it like everything except water? No way. Phylum transports water. Yeah. So phylum has to transport everything else. Yeah. Nutrition waste, I think. Nutrition and waste. Okay. Nutrition yeah. and waste. Nutrients and waste and wastes. Uh, okay, I need just a single answer. Uh, what? Nutri wait, wait, wait. Nutrition. What? I'm say nutrition, right? Nutrients. Is it a phylum or a xylem? What would... Wait, is it phylum or xylem? Phylum. P. Phylum. It has nutrients. Nutrients. It has to be nutrients. Okay, if xylem is for water. Yeah, so it has to be nutrients. Nutri no, nutrients. glucose and amino acids. Okay, glucose and, glucose and amino acids. Sucrose, sucrose, not... Wait, sucrose or glucose? Glucose. Sucrose. 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 Sucrose, sucrose. sucrose and amino acids. Okay, you got it. Oh. Sucrose, yes. Okay, uh, magnesium chloride crystals. What are they used for in cold climates? I'm pretty sure Magnesium it's melting chloride ice. crystals, what are they used in cold yeah, climates? I'm pretty sure it's melting ice. ice. Melting, melting ice. ice and snow. That is correct. Ice control. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. You've got uh, one more question that you haven't answered. In C, how many times is a constructor called in the lifetime of an object? In C, how many times is what? Constructor. Is constructor called for what? Uh, lifetime of an object. For a lifetime of an object. We have 30 seconds. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, code. 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 Language. Ah. Uh, no, wait, wait. I've heard oh, this before. I've heard this before. I've heard this before. Wait. Thing. Is it an hospital? No, it's huh? C. Plus plus. It's a coding language. Oh, okay. How many times uh, is it? Uh, what? No, it's what's it called? called for an object slash. Constructor called for an object slash span? Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, Just guess a number. No, wait. Just guess something. Last five okay. seconds. No, 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 wait, wait. Five if you don't guess, I was saying. Just say it. No, no, say don't it. say it. Yeah, just say it. Just say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. No. Say it. Three. Yeah, say it. Three. Okay, that is incorrect. One. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, thank you. And uh, I believe that there was an error with the uh, timing. Uh, could someone clarify for me um, how much time was actually given to? Team Chris's disciples. It was around six minutes thirty or more. Okay. Six minutes. Exactly just six, six minutes. minutes. Just six minutes. Uh, six minutes and thirty seconds. Six minutes and thirty. Yeah. yeah. I would like to object. Only one minute. Okay, uh, Juanita, as our uh, timekeeping team, can you uh, get me the exact time that was? Uh, was uh, allotted for Chris's disciples. If you need to, uh, you go back and look at the uh, recording. 
Uh, yes, Dan, if you could give us one minute, please. Okay, uh, we'll take a minute and find out uh, how much time so the other team gets the uh, same amount. Uh, Chris's disciples, well done. You managed eight out of 10. So we'll make sure that the other team gets uh, exactly the same amount of time. Hi Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan and team. We verified uh, the duration. We gave, we started the timer just on time. Uh, that is, we started at 51 seconds because we had another timer on uh, the site. So we've given exactly five minutes to the team. Say it. I'm sorry. Five but that is not correct. Uh, <laughs> I think we started a minute, they started a minute later than when the timer was, was put on. on. Yeah, the video on the wasn't screen. on. When, yeah, on the screen. When you started asking about like, oh wait, no, the timer was on only around when the question about the sunflower. Yeah, yeah that's that. true, but we are yes. uh, not six and a half minutes. If I, yes. please, if I may please clarify, we have two timers running simultaneously and we started at 51 seconds, which was when the sunflower question was asked. So as the total, we have given you the complete five minutes. We did, we did not start the timer on screen at five, but on the second timer that we are running in the back end, when it reached 51 second, we moved quickly to 51 second and continue the timer from there. So for the team, we have given complete five minutes. Thank you. Okay, so uh, team uh, Stamania, if we can get uh, the cameras on. And after that uh, absolutely stunning success in the uh, tiebreaker, uh, looking forward to having some really good results here. Okay, uh, so if we could get, uh, go ahead and get, uh, one of you to unmute so we'll be able to hear your answers without you having to keep... okay perfect so and we will start now what precious metal is obtained from the metallic white mineral called sparerite sparerite, sparerite. what precious metal fast, 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 fast. okay the atomic bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima in 1945 exposed hundreds of thousands of people 
to this type of radiation, which resulted in an increased incidence of cancer. Uh, which one was it? What kind of radiation? Uh, no, it was a nuclear, nuclear bomb. bomb. It was a nuclear bomb, but yeah. It, um, uh, you're talking about what type of nuclear bomb it was? Okay, pass. No, pass, pass, pass. pass. The human heart is found within which compartment in the thoracic region? Which hmm? Thoracic? Uh, Cardiothoracic region. Uh, the, so what is the region of the body called where the heart is found? Region of the body when the heart region is found. The body. It's, it's on the... Do you mean like, like, like upper left or... Uh, no, it, it, there's a scientific name for that area. Oh, it's pass, the, pass, 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 pass. Um, this, uh, you can use a calculator if you need. A triplicate ratio, the triplicate ratio of four is to three is what? Four to three. Um, it's four to three? Yeah, Wait, can you repeat that question? Yes, the triplicate ratio of four is to three is what? Can we pass? Can we go to the Nagasaki question? Uh, yes. The Hiroshima. Okay. So the unit kilograms per cubic meter is used for calculating what? Or describing what? Uh, the, the volume per, per kilogram. Yeah, so kilometers. It's uh, no, it's density. It's density, 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 density. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, what is the name of the organ system to which all three of the following belong? The sacral plexus, the pons, and the thalamus. Uh, thalamus. The pons? The, no, 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 no. It's the uh, oh. A lymph, lymph, lymphatic. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's in the brain. A central nervous system. It is the nervous system. That is correct. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. But okay. Which C programming derivative was created by Bjorn Salstrup? Bjorn Salstrup. And again, keep skip, 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 skip. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to be the big dog in the sky, which constellation would you want to be? Big dog. The dog. Um, uh, or uh, Canis Major? Uh, that is correct. Canis Major, <laughs> Latin for big dog. Uh, the laying down of rock forming materials by any natural agent is called what? Can, can you repeat the question? The, I'm sorry? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. The laying down of rock forming materials by any natural agent is called what? Um, Skip. 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 Wait, skip. 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 What are the uh, These structures are found in all leaves. They are located in the epidermis. They let substances in and out of the leaves as they are opened and closed. What are they called? Epidermis. Mm -hmm. They're in leaves, though. They let substances in and out. Uh, would it be cell membrane? Okay, uh, what precious metal comes from the mineral sparolite? So sparolite. <laughs> Can we go to the Nagasaki question? Uh, yes, uh, what type of radiation were people exposed to? Atomic, ato an atomic bomb or? How do you spell yeah, from the bomb? What type of radiation were they exposed to? It causes cancer. It causes, it causes cancer. cancer. Um, we, we learned this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, last year. Wait. Yep. Yeah. It causes cancer. What causes? Uh, Jesus. Which, which radiation causes cancer? Um. Um. Uh, gamma rays. High, high energy. Uh, that's that's. Uh, yeah. High energy radiation. radiation. Yeah. Okay, uh, the human heart is found within which uh, compartment of the oh, okay. is it the other one? Is it thermal radiation for the other one? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Uh, the triplicate ratio of four is to three is what? Um, can we go to the human heart question? Yeah, the human heart question. Uh, the human heart is found within which compartment of the thoracic region? Can we just say cardiothoracic region or? Oh, um, and 
residual I'm radiation for the Hiroshima and Nagasaki residual radiation. Oh, okay, so uh, you just uh, that was the uh, third incorrect question. So um, the radiation was ionizing radiation. Okay, so um, team uh, Chris's disciples uh, will move forward because they got eight out of 10 correct and uh, team Stamania uh, missed at least three. So even if time was not a factor, uh, Chris's disciples would move forward. Okay, so uh, we'll take a 30-minute uh, break now to allow uh, for uh, Ramadan prayers. If everyone can rejoin at 1.15, uh, we will start the final round, uh, which will be the Jeopardy round for the top three teams. So that will be Chris's disciples, uh, Epoch, and, sorry, I don't have the third team handy. Uh, Renita, do you have the third team? Team GMA. Uh, sorry, GMA? Team GMA. Okay, so GMA, Chris's Disciples, and Epoch. We'll see you all at 1.15. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dan, and thanks, everyone.